Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I am the Classy Puerto Rican and my name is uh, Juana. So um, I'm gonna be doing a video today and it's gonna be kind of a series of videos. I think I'm gonna plan to do like maybe two or three of them. So it is decorating for Easter. So the one that I'm gonna be making today is I'm gonna be embroidering a kitchen towel and I'm gonna be making them in the East SE 1900, a broader um, flat bed machine. I'm going to be using the 5x12, which is the repositional hoop. And that way I can make a bigger um, design, you know. So um, the way I want to do the towel, instead of, you know, making a small um, design in the middle, I want to make it like all the way horizontally. So that's why I decided to get the 5x12 hoop. And that way also to show people that you can get bigger designs using the 5x12 hoop. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. For those who are already been subscribed, thank you for coming back. So let's do this. Let's go at it. What I'm going to be doing, which is this design right here. I'm going to be doing this towel. I got this towel from Amazon in a pack. Um, I think it was six towels that came. I haven't, I don't remember very well. And then it's the design that I'm doing in here. And I'm going to be using the 5x12 positional hoop so that you know that you can make a big design. Um, on towels also. I have done videos before um, about how you can embroider larger sizes with this hoop. You can go back if you're new to the channel to check them out. I think I have two or three of them and it gets, gets you to the whole process of how to do the larger sizes design with this hoop. And I wanted the towel to hang open like this in the kitchen as supposed to be like a small design and double because I wanted to try it that way so that you can you know, enjoy the whole thing. So I'm going to set this up here and then I'm going to show you in the laptop um, very fast. I'm not going to go too much detail because like I said, I have a couple of videos already explaining this, but I'm going to go to the process and how do I download it and how do I um, place it on this hook. All right. Of course, you know how the hooping goes. You put the stabilizer, this is tear away stabilizer, and I'm gonna just float the towel, all right? I'm not gonna hook the whole towel, I'm just gonna float it. And you've seen this before. And if you have any questions about that, again, I have um, uh, lots of videos on how to hook on the SC1900 and how to use the, uh, you know, the floating system, okay? When it comes to hooking. I'm just gonna spray a little bit, you don't have to do a lot. And I have already marked the dots in here, the spacing where I want the towel, and this hook, like the small one, comes with this template. And that's what I use to mark the spot where I work, where I want the thing. Other than using the spray like I did, we're gonna be using a topper, water soluble sterilizer. This is what you're gonna put on top because it's a plushy fabric, and you wanna make sure that the stitches don't sink in. So we're going, this is the other stabilizer we're gonna be using. So we're using the tearaway stabilizer and the water soluble stabilizer on top. I already did the selection of the threads that I'm gonna use ahead of time. We're gonna be using six colors. And I have the Embrillion's um, colors that came out when I printed it. I always use this, okay? If you see me that I stop talking, it's just that I'm doing this and I'm washing that recoma, making sure that, um, you know, it's going okay. All right, so I pin the design here because I want to make sure that it is, is in the center like this one. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to use, you see when you print the design always have the center in here on the spot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half through the middle right here and place it like that in the hook. You see, that way this is, I know this is the way I wanna float it, all right? So this is the, should, should be the middle. I'm touching the paper and this is the frame that I want. So I'm gonna open it up. This should be in place. I have to make it move a little bit higher. I think this is 
to yeah you just stick it in there all right make sure that is straight and it's stick it in there i'm gonna pull it a little bit more just to make sure that it doesn't come out just in the corner have it here okay this is the way it's supposed to be and we're gonna be moving now to the SC1900 and set up um, uh, but before I do that I'm going to go to the computer and show you the step that I took to do this larger design and I use Embrillians that's what I used to do that, okay? So I'll see you in the computer, all right? So I'm in Brilliance, and I apologize for the machine in the background. Um, when you get them in Brilliance, you know, this is my USB um, um, downloads, all right? So I'm going to choose, uh, let's say, the 8x8 um, size of the file, all right? Um, see, this is for DST, so let me get for DES. Let's get the 6 by 10. So I'm going to open it up. All right, so this is open right here. So what I'm going to do is that, is that I'm going to choose the hook. So I'm going to go here to this file kind of icon. I'm going to open it up. And I have it on DST because I've been using my Recoma. And Recoma takes DST, right? So um, I'm going to change it to PES. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the PES section, but I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pick the multi position. And this is where it, shows, it will shoot my multi position and hook right here. Shows it, and then it's gonna appear only uh, four selections. And the selection that you're gonna pick is the jumbo hook right here. Jumbo hook. And you notice in the bottom, it tells you five by 12. Okay. And then I'm going to say apply. And I'm going to say OK. But if you notice, it is a, a position at um, vertical and I want it horizontal. So I'm going to go back here again. All right. And I'm going to choose right here rotate. Rotate. I chose rotate. And then I'm going to say apply again on the right corner. And I'm gonna say okay, and it shows it. Of course, this I you know shows a six by ten, and then you know like um, the the height maximum is five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it smaller, not higher than five. This is four and three quarters. I can go forward to make it a little bit taller if I want to. Okay, so I made it taller. A little bit that is a four and three sixteen. Uh, this is five. And then I'm gonna center it. Center. And then I have my design right there. And if you notice these three sections right here is where the hoop is divided in two different positions. First it's gonna embroider this part and then it's gonna embroider this part. When it is a design that have no um applique is even easier but if you do a uh, applique that one you is another step that you have to do to position it correctly because it's going to divide it in the middle so um for that i have a video so you have to watch that video so you see how i do my applique so now that i have it here um you know you go through the same process you're gonna go home you're gonna file it you're gonna choose save as stitch and um working all right and all of that, I already did this, so I'm not going to do it again. But you're going to follow the same step as a regular hoop. And then I print my design. Let me escape this because I already have this one saved. I don't want to change the changes, no. 
Let me go back to my file right here, and I'm gonna open it up. If you notice here, it says um, split design tulip bottom, split design top. Those are the two files that are gonna appear in your USB, all right? And then in the working file, it says split design tulip. It's this right here, split, split and split. So and that's what you do it. Now um, you're gonna save it on the USB and you're gonna take it to the SE1900 and I'm gonna show you how to work it out on the SE1900, okay? If you have any questions, again, you can refer to my older videos that I have three of them and I can ask you any questions you have, all right? See you in a little bit. So now what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna do the uh, positioning of the uh, hoop. And it's gonna, you're gonna hook it exactly the same way you hook a regular hoop in the machine. There's no difference whatsoever, okay? Absolutely no difference whatsoever. This hoop has, a, instead of the two, it has double the amount. Do you see right here? This hoop has these two and then these two. And there's a reason why. You're gonna hook these first two for the first part of the embroidery, and then you're gonna take it up, and then you're gonna move it up to put it on these other two, all right? So what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna position it in the first two. You don't have to have a preference. You can start on the file number two, and start on the bottom, and then on the top, but you know, I always start one and two. And you, you're gonna understand why I'm calling them one, file one and file two. So what I'm gonna do, is that I'm gonna position it here. Okay, just like a regular will be no difference whatsoever. All right. I'm on this side so that you can see. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see to the hook, um, but I'm gonna position it on the first two. Just as a regular five by seven hook, no difference. You're gonna hear the click and it's in place, all right? Okay. I'm gonna move you back here so we don't have to move you around. And the reason why I kept the sketch design from in Brilliance is because I wanna, it's gonna help me to position in the correct place that I want. Then I will take it out, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, of course, is putting the USB to the machine. I already have my USB into my USB extender right here. And I'm gonna look for my file. So of course I had to push the file um, icon right here to open my file. There we go. So now we're gonna look for the file, right? And we're looking for two different files. Remember, file number one right here and file number two. So I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is just pick a file. And I'm gonna see which one I'm gonna do first. Um I'm gonna since it doesn't say file one and file two, you have to open and decide which part of the design you want to do first. If it's gonna be the top one or the bottom part of the design. I'm going to start here and I'm going to open the icon in the corner, which is like a little TV. It will tell me how does it look like. And it looks like it's a top part. It says the spring. And I don't know what it looks like because I made the file, so I know that's the first part. But you don't necessarily have to start on the top part of the design, the file number one. You can do one two also and put the frame higher. But I usually start on the top and then, you know, do number two, like in the order, one and two, but you don't have to. And all you have to do is say, okay, and then you're going to go set. And if you notice the way I, I, I did the hooping, my design is looking that way, and this one is looking this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to push this icon and that button that said rotate, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And here you have it. And now all you have to do is push OK. And then you're going to go do edit, um, 
end because I already edit the, the file. I don't have to do edit anymore. And that's it. And then the next step you're going to do is um, trace the, um, the design to make sure that you are in place and everything is clearing and everything like that. Okay. So now let's go to the next step, which is tracing. And you know how we do the, not the next. It's the same thing that you do in the regular hoop. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to go to, um, all right. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to go around. Okay, so now that I have that, I don't need this paper anymore. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna put the water solid stabilizer. Very, very important. And I usually take my water soluble because I don't like the way it moves when it's, it does embroider. But anyway. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread the machine and then um, I, I'm not done yet. Hello, Jenny. So now I'm going to go back to the screen and I'm going to do, okay, and then I'm going to do embroidery and it's going to take me the, to the uh, thread. So this is the basic um, stitches. I don't want I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go jump one time up. Up one color, and then I'm gonna go. So the next color is the the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread the machine, and I'm gonna see you a little bit. Okay, so the machine is threaded, and we're gonna start embroidering. Okay.
So this part of the embroidery is done, okay? Now we have to move to the second part. And I didn't record the whole thing because um, video, you know, length was gonna be too much, but I'm gonna then now start the second part. And this is the message you're gonna get from the machine. It's gonna set finish embroidering. Same thing that it tells you when you finish a regular five by seven embroidery, it's gonna be the same thing. So of course you're gonna say, okay, because you're done, right? And then you're gonna go ahead and go out again and then you're going to look for file number two, right? You're going to go get out of the, um, the, the page like you normally do when you're done. You say, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and go back again and going to look for file number two. And that, that's what we're doing right now. So you're going to go back and look for the number two. I passed it. Let me look for it. Yeah, that's the file number two. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say okay. All right. And I'm going to put set. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees, which is like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move the frame. You're gonna move the hook two notches down, all right? So you're gonna lift it up. And you're gonna move it to the next two notches, the last one, this one and this one. Okay, so that takes me down there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, again, I'm going to say, okay, I'm just going to get trace it. It's tracing it. Making sure that it's in the right place. And I'm done right there. So now what I'm going to do is going to push OK again, and then I'm going to go to embroidery. And then, of course, again, I'm going to get rid of this box. So I'm going to click the needle icon right there on the bottom. I'm going to click the plus spool to get rid of it one time, only one time. Click it, say OK, and it disappeared. So my next color is going to be uh, pink. All right. So I'm going to thread the machine with the pink, and then we're going to continue. So the machine is threaded. We're going to start.
Hopefully it's not the body because I don't want to having to take everything off of it. to be the bobbin so let's take it out which I don't like doing that so it's, yeah no bobbin it's empty empty this is putting your one in one Always check, make sure that you put it on the correct one. Okay. Okay, so let's start. This is okay. So, even though the bobbin has some left, apparently it was the bobbin. Letting me know ahead of time. Um, I forgot about that about this machine. It announced you that you're low on body. Um, but it says check upper thread, but it's not upper thread, it's the body. You see, because I had some in there, it wasn't completely empty. All done so let's take it out and see you in a little bit so this is the result so what is nice for me to do is um take off the uh ter um, ter wave stabilizer from the back and also the uh water soluble stabilizer and i'm gonna spray it from the back so it makes it easier to dissolve A little bit humid, but all you have to do is let it dry. 
So what do you think, people? I think it came out beautifully. So I had a lot of fun making this project with you guys. I hope you liked it. Um, I wanted to show you that you can make a big design with this hoop. This is a 5x12 repositional hoop. And if you are new to embroidering and you want to know how to use this hoop, you can check my other videos. Also, I have a video that I did a t-shirt and another one that I did uh, hoodies. So for those who are already subscribed to my channel, thank you. Thank you for supporting. If you are new and you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. I do include in my content um, sewing, embroidery like you've seen. And also do heat transfer vinyl or HDV. And I do a lot of sublimation. So thank you for supporting. Uh, don't forget to click the thumb up. This will really help to grow my channel. And I will see you pretty soon with new content. I'll see you later. Bye. Hasta luego.